Welcome back to more Remothered. In the last video, we did some things and the power went out. Because, you know, that's how good we are. So now we gotta go find a way to turn the power back on. Go grab that key and figure out where that key goes to. Hopefully, we can do it without any hindrances. I can't remember if his eyesight's better in the light or in the dark. So that's a little bit worrisome. I'll take that. This is quite tense. I'm not gonna lie. Music isn't helping me any. Why is so, it down here? I like to go around and rummage in other people's things. Yeah. I do actually. What's your point? I just want to sleep. Okay, I'd just like to point out one thing. I'm not stopping you from sleeping. What is going on? Is that him? I can see him moving. Just leave. So that wasn't him.
nothing can just go smoothly. Can it? So hopefully I should have free reign to go down to the basement now. Such bull. Why is he down here? Yeah, like opening the door like that is going to help you any. There we go. Find the missing pendulum clock. isn't helpful in the slightest. Walk faster. So I don't know where this fool is going. At least right here I have a hidey ho. And then there's another one in there, and then there's a noise alarm right there. Bra, you just need to go upstairs and stay upstairs. Get out over there. Then I'll come over here. Ooh. Cool. 
course the door's locked. <clears throat> Would you like me to enjoy your stupid game? Maybe. Nobody cares. Let's put this battery in and watch this cutscene. been one intense episode mesmerism session with drug injection patient is Richard Felton Mr. Felton I remind you that you were sedated with a dose of phenoxyl and submitted to the constant swing of the metronome can you hear me yes breathe deeply Keep your eyes on the metronome. I can't Stay calm. Keep control of yourself. We are here for you, Mr. Carlton. What day were you born? February 16th. Can you tell me which day today is, or your wife's name? Uh, Ariana. We're in March, I think. I don't remember. I can't remember. That's normal. It's part of the mesmerism process. Stay focused. Keep your eyes on the metronome. You are now in oblivion. What is the first thought that comes to you? Celeste. On the swing. Happy. Celeste. Can you see her? Keep visual contact. I see her back. She, she's still swinging. She, she can't hear me. Why doesn't she hear Mr. me? Mr. Gordon, keep calm. What you see is not material. It's a reflection of your subconscious. I, I, I knew this would happen. That she would escape. We were supposed to protect her so that they wouldn't find her. Who are they? But I never thought she'd come back. I thought her. Do you mean Celeste came back after she disappeared? She wasn't my little girl. No, she wasn't Celeste. She was Jennifer. Mr. Felton, who are you talking about? Who's Jennifer? When my father came back in 1930, it was like he was dead. No physical wounds, just broken inside. He changed. I have never liked or loved him very much, but the man that came back from Ethiopia was far from being the man that once left us. He came back to himself pretty quickly, but not how I wanted. Mr. Felton, were you abused by your father? Oh, no, never. He was a good man. Very strict, yes. A monster, but, but not that kind of monster. He never touched me. I, I was a disappointment to him. A, a weep. Do you think your daughter's disappearance is related to your relationship with your father? My father, he helped me to prevent me from her. 
Is this why you came here, Doctor? I hope you found what you were looking for. I tried to warn you. You should have listened. Is it really worth it to put yourself into this story? Stop, bitch! <laughs> Some things die and stay dead forever. Other things die and just linger in time. Uh, sir. Sooner or later, everyone will find out the truth. I already told you the truth. My daughter left us. Just one afternoon. We never saw her again. Fucking liar. You said that she came back, didn't you? Oh! You don't understand. You have no idea of what I've been through. The pain. And didn't you think of the pain your daughter's been through? Oh no, Celeste was the only bond between my wife and I. Our marriage was more of a business deal than love. It was one of those arranged marriages where only the parents in law love each other. This has nothing to do with your daughter. On the contrary, it has everything to do with her. After she disappeared, Harion and I were divided. But you said you were protecting Celeste. From who? It's more than you can handle, miss, and you would not understand. It's true. I might not be able to understand. But right now, I believe Celeste decided to leave because she was terrorized by your morbid intentions. No, it's not true. And yet, sometime later, she comes back home to the lion's It's den. not true. One afternoon, she knocked on the door. I, I couldn't believe it. She was there. It wasn't Celeste. It was Jennifer. Jennifer. Then you came in. God bless you. Thanks to you, I, I finally realized that Jennifer was to blame for my pain, my disease. I could not let her go away again. So one night I slipped into her bedroom, and there she was, tempting me. I could not let her hurt us again. No. Can't be. And yet... You saw her body. I, I had to. I, I didn't have any other choice. You're disgusting murderer. You're a murderer. Oh God, forgive me. Forgive me. I was just following her orders. You, you came to us to, to free us from evil. Oh God. Okay. Weird. I can handle this. Just break out. You're right behind me. Okay, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna handle this in the next episode, aren't we, little one? I hope you have a great day, and we're only gonna be the best you you can possibly be. If you like the video, give a like, comment for the super special, awesome subscriber if you haven't. They're really out and ta ta for now.